this is a special little Tech Royale for you this weekend. Like I said before, I'm afraid I'm not available this weekend so I can't film a full one. But I've got the cutout section that there simply wasn't room for in Tech Royale 2, which is my thoughts and views on the new PlayStation Vita. So that'll be coming up in a second. You might have noticed our lovely new introduction music. Many, many thanks to Mr. Ian Frisk for uh, putting that together for me. And I also haven't yet publicly given credit to Mr. Richard Howard for sorting out the graphics for Tech Royale. So big props to both of those guys for helping me with Tech Royale. Okay, so my thoughts on the PlayStation Vita and my t-shirt will magically change colour right about now. I'm not a massive gamer. Um, I play games on my Xbox 360. I uh, really like my retro stuff, to be honest. Um, all the old LucasArts uh, games and Scum VM. But I have had a DS in the past. Um, used it when I was occasionally on long train journeys or on the bus um, or on holiday, but didn't use it enough. Sold it. Um, and I've also played with the PSP in the past, and it struck me as a reasonably nice piece of hardware, although the analog stick was pretty abysmal. Now, in terms of hardware design, I think Sony have got it pretty right with the Vita. I've had a had a quick play with one. Um, the thumbsticks feel nice in the hand. The screen is gorgeous. Um, and in terms of innovations, I'm a really big fan of the rear touch panel mechanic. In case you haven't seen this. It means there's basically a surface on the back of the device that you can you can interact with. So it's a touch screen on the front, so you can touch things there, but also around the back. So it certainly gives a lot of room for games manufacturers to innovate with. Um, unfortunately, Sony aren't Nintendo, so they don't have that first party pedigree to bring to the device to sort of really show off what these innovative new features um, can do. But I really do wish Sony all the best with this, apart from proprietary memory cards. I mean, let's face it, memory stick was, you know, never a standard beyond Sony and was just as nasty and proprietary as anything that Sony do, uh, any of their Sony's worst excesses, put it that way. Um, and I was really hoping that they would learn their lesson um, with the Vita, but unfortunately no, you'll be paying some ridiculous amount of money for a 32 gig memory card on a Vita. Uh, for shame Sony, for shame. Uh, go and stand in the corner and think about what you've done. But I will not wish that the platform fails, I hope that the platform does very well. Because Nintendo can't have the portable gaming uh, market to itself, even though technically they don't because Apple are snipping at their heels with the iPod Touch. But yeah, nice platform. Slightly expensive at launch, although it's now down to slightly under £200 at Asda, I believe. Um, and the Uncharted game on it is absolutely gorgeous. So if you do consider yourself to be a true gamer and um, you're out and about a lot, you use a lot of public transport, then it's a nice piece of kit. And Sony have placed to support it for 10 years. And I'm hearing reports that the battery life is not as horrible as people have been screaming about. Um, up to sort of five hours, at least get you through a day. So that's all for this little mini bonus episode of Tech Royale. Um, there will be more to come next week with my thoughts, views and general delight on BT Infinity. Suffice to say, so far in the first six hours of having it, I'm of the opinion it's a great service. So take care everybody, have a great weekend, I'll see you soon. Oh, and bring back Games Master. <laughs>